drivers. This is the vital piece of equipment that you need in order to be a successful food and grocery delivery driver. My name is Russ and it's very nice to meet you. I've been doing this part-time for almost five years so you can benefit from my expertise. In this video, I'm gonna give you three things that you need to consider and why these kind of food delivery bags are so important. The restaurant, you, and the customer. So let's get right into it. The first important area, restaurants. You are representing the restaurant. That is their bread and butter making all the food. So when you go in as a professional food delivery driver, they're gonna take you seriously. When you bring in your bag, it's gonna show that you are a professional and you care about your job just like they do. Because keep in mind, their reputation is on the line. They're making high quality food and they're expecting that customer to get it in the best shape possible. So using this food bag when you go in the restaurant is gonna set that example that you can arrange the food safely, you'll keep it at the right temperature, and that means the customer is gonna be satisfied. Now, hold up, did you know that when you walk in, you can just go straight to the front of the line because no customer is gonna think that you're cutting the line when you walk in with a bag. It's obvious that you're there for a food delivery. The second most important aspect of this equation is you the food delivery driver using this hot bag. Did you know that it's your job to, once you pick up that food and drop it off to the customer, you are responsible. So by using this food bag, you're gonna keep the temperature where it should be. If hot food should be hot or if cold should be cold. One pro tip, don't seal up the bag completely because anything that's fried or has a lot of moisture, you're gonna notice there's gonna be a ton of moisture in there and it's gonna make the food soggy and that will displease the customer. So slightly vent the bag when you're using it, that way some moisture can escape. If you don't believe me, after a delivery, reach your hand in the bag and just see how much moisture is in there. I think you're gonna be surprised. I know that I have to open my bags and let them air out after every delivery. Another thing that's very important when you're transporting food, look at this car. Do you realize that your glass is like a greenhouse? So even though you're using your air conditioning, you're having to fight against that really bright, powerful sun. All that heat's going through your glass and heating your car. So what I recommend, use the hot bags, keep them inside your car when you're doing food delivery for things that should be hot, because naturally that's gonna help. Anything that's cold, check this out. When I was doing Amazon Flex and I had all those bags, I realized by putting everything in the trunk, it kept it cold. Yeah, even though it was hot outside, it takes a lot longer for that heat to go through the metal of your car and penetrate deep inside to warm it up. So I recommend anything that's cold, protect it by putting it in your trunk. Anything that's hot, just rely on that natural greenhouse effect of your car. I did meet a driver who has an insulated cooler and inside of that he put a plug-in hot pad, a heating pad that will heat the food as it's in there. And he said that he did notice he got better tips because the food was hot. The customer said, wow, that food is hot and they gave him a higher tip. So that is something to consider. I don't happen to do that, but something for you to think about. Now, what about ice cream, ice, things that are frozen and then should remain frozen? What you can do is double up the bags, put one inside of each other. And what this is gonna do is have an air gap. This will be cold inside, there's an air gap between this and the next bag. And that could be something helpful to help keep it frozen. So in light of my tips to keep hot food hot and cold food cold, please share in the comments below what tips you have. I'm curious and I'm sure that others would benefit as well. The third vital area of this equation is the customer. That's right, we're here to deliver their food. So when you walk up to their door and you show up with that hot bag, if they see you on the ring camera or in person, they're gonna be really pleased that you care about their food. And they're probably going to tip you or increase your tip when they notice that. No matter what, I would always use your hot bag anyway, not because you are hoping for a better tip, but because you wanna give the customer their food as they ordered it in as best condition as possible. So in general, just think of how you wanna be treated and then treat the customer that way. Using a hot bag to keep things hot or cold is a vital part of this. 
Now that you see the value in hot bags, that's great. So please, to show your appreciation, bag that like button, and don't forget to like the channel as well. You know, just talking about hot bags, that's great. But what if you use them all the time? How do you keep them clean? Well, in this video here, I'm gonna go over that with you, show you how to clean them and why you should be cleaning them. So I'll see you there.